You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodriguez for our Black and White Sports 2. We're going to talk about that game last night. That Thursday night football game where somewhere, I believe, Pete Carroll and John Schneider are sitting in a room drinking Crown and Cokes, smoking menthols right now. They look like the smartest sons of bitches that have ever walked this planet in football terms. We found out there is a reason why Pete never let Russ cook. Because the son of a bitch was lost in the kitchen. I stand corrected. I stand corrected. Look, I always thought Russ was a top five quarterback. I did. His statistics bear that out. They do. And I'm not talking about just statistics. It's not like he didn't put up wins and losses. Two Super Bowl appearances, 1-1. One, one. But now we understand where Pete Carroll's head was at, where, where Richard Sherman's head has been at. I mean, I have ripped Richard Sherman for his Russell Wilson takes. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Richard. My bad. My bad. I'm I'm not afraid to come out and own this shit. I'm not afraid. Before we even get into this, let's let's look. Gino right now. Gino right now. By the way, he leads the league in po- completion percentage. <laughs> 2 and 2, 77.3% 1,037 yards, six TDs, two picks. Russ, my God, two and three, 59.4%. That shit gets you benched now. I'm just being real. I mean, 59.4%, that gets you benched. You lose your jobs in the NFL at quarterback for that kind of completion percentage in this day and time. Four TDs. Three picks. And look, I understand we're early in the season right now, but holy shit, Pete Carroll looks like a damn genius. I mean, he truly does. And people online are dragging Russ, and Pete Carroll is finally getting a lot of praise over this. Pete Carroll in Seattle. Yeah. Yeah. Jay-Z. Drinking, drinking a little champagne, a little champagne this morning. Wow. And to think, eight months ago, Pete Carroll and John Snyder were being ripped on the Bird app for trading Wilson. This was five minutes ago, sports track. Seahawks currently possess the ninth, 12th, 41st, and 43rd picks in the 2023 draft. Oh, oh, look at that Robert De Niro scene. So good. So good. Maybe Pete Carroll knew what he was doing when he traded Russell Wilson. The Broncos don't look like a Super Bowl contender. Are you kidding? Super Bowl? Super Bowl? Playoffs? Come on. No way. They don't even look like a playoff contender. My God, it's a train wreck. Pete Carroll is an elite offensive mind. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And Pete Carroll threw all those TDs and rushed for all those yards. Having a rough start on a new team doesn't make him bad. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Wow. Wow. Pete Carroll, look at this gift. Pete Carroll watching last night's game. I, I, I mean, look, he looks brilliant. It is what it is. Pete Carroll knows when to move off veteran players. Wow. Wow. Every player that got the boot in Seattle has been ass in their new city. From Earl to Browner to Russ. Eh, Sherman had a couple of decent years with my 49ers. I don't know about that. I don't know. Last night shows two things. Pete Carroll knows how to call plays to make his quarterback look good. Look at Geno so far. Aaron Rodgers made his OC look really good when he wasn't. That that that's a fact. 
I mean, Nathaniel Hackett looks terrible right now. Major props to, props to Pete Carroll for keeping that locker room sane with Rush. With Russ. I always do that with Russ. I wonder what the Denver Broncos will pay Pete Carroll to come fix this. Oh, Pete Carroll is allegedly standing out on Twitter. I, I, I mean, Seattle won big time, and Pete Carroll making Geno Smith look like a damn superstar. Look, we forget how good a coach Pete Carroll is, okay? Two Super Bowl appearances, 1-1, one, one, and an epic histor- historical college football program in U- with USC. Let's not get confused. That USC run by Pete Carroll was legendary. One of the greatest runs we ever saw in um, in, in college football. I mean, it, unbelievable. I've always thought Pete Carroll could coach, though. I, I, I've never been, um, I've never been, ever, a discounter of Pete Carroll. I have not. No, no, no way. Pete, every time he watches a Broncos game, Oh, there's there's De Niro again. Pete Carroll, as the world acknowledges, he fleeced the Broncos in the Russell Wilson trade. Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Django. Live look at Pete Carroll looking like the Monopoly guy, smiling, complete with Kane and Monocle. Man, Pete Carroll chewing that gum extra hard after last night. Wow, is Pete Carroll the most underrated QB guru in the NFL? Maybe Pete Carroll's not so dumb. Pete Carroll is looking like a genius trading Russell Wilson after the Russ trade. There's Pete Carroll this morning. I mean, Russell Wilson is getting his ass drug. Wow, Pete Carroll trading Russell Wilson is a Hall of Fame move. I, I mean, it's just, it, it's just unbelievable. Yeah, Richard Sherman just, uh, he went off. You need one yard. Run the ball. What? What? Run the ball. Hey, CT. He's triggered. All he has to do is run the football. Like <laughs> necessary criticism. I'm not. You know, I've said enough criticism for him. But God dang, run the dang ball. Ugh. I mean, look, Sherman's trying to be a hot take artist, but I get it. I get it here. How smart do John Schneider and Pete Carroll look? We all thought they lost that trade. Now it looks like a shrewd rebuilding move while trading a quarterback who's declining fast. Wow. There's a little Pete Carroll after finessing the Broncos into taking. Oh, there's Pete. Got a hot used car for you right here. Got got one right there. I have a feeling Let's Ride could be losing the locker room. You think? Maybe he never had it. Pete Carroll looks like a genius. Wow. This may be my favorite one uh, I was looking at this morning. Yeah, listen. Uh, we fucked up. <laughs> Oh, no givesy, no backsies. Oh, the Bradley Cooper is great. Oh, the redemption, the redemption arc. Shawshank, Tim Robbins, out in the rain. Pete Carroll, after hearing years of, quote, let Russ cook. What's wrong with the Seahawks? God almighty. So good. Pete Carroll's smiling his ass off right now. Oh, my God. I might owe Pete Carroll an apology. Whew. Yeah, yeah, a- abs- absolutely. They they may look. They may have actually. They may actually create a thirty for thirty on Pete Carroll trading Russell Wilson to the Broncos. Oh, uh, what if we told you that a Hall of Fame coach knew that Russ couldn't cook? However, he took scrutiny like nobody's ever seen before when in fact Russ couldn't cook at all it's it's this crazy it it really is i give pete carroll credit 
I told John like three weeks ago, um, I said, you know, Geno Smith can play quarterback in the NFL now and be a starter. I said, he just looks like a different quarterback now. And, you know, we have seen this where guys weren't great and then later in life got another chance at quarterback and they ended up doing something, right? Jeff Garcia, Steve Berline, um, Rich Gannon is one of the big ones that ended up having a meteoric rise after after being back back in the pack somewhere. You know, it it does actually happen. And it's like Pete knew. I mean, when you when you go look and and I'll just read to you right here uh, because I've got I've got the points scored. This is what Denver has scored on offense. 16 16 11 uh 23 9 This is the Seahawks and look the Seahawks had been wor- world burners but compared to Denver 17 7 23 48 and they're 2 and 2 and I'm going to tell you the most glaring Glaring stat out of all this. Russell Wilson is making how much money right now? How much? Like what? 30 plus, 30 plus million dollars. I went and checked the salary of Geno Smith this morning. Geno Smith is making three and a half million dollars. I, I, I mean, look, John Snyder, John Snyder and... And uh, Pete Carroll, it's unbelievable what they just did. It it truly is. And I'm get, I'm glad Pete Carroll's getting some love. Look, I'm not a big fan of the Seahawks franchise as a whole. I mean, I did a story over on the other channel of some things they did organizationally I don't love. But there's no doubt, Pete Carroll is a really damn good football coach probably should end up in the Hall of Fame. And it it looks like, it looks like he may have known something we didn't. Plain and simple. We'll see how the season plays out, but I'm going to make a call here. I think the Seahawks win more games than the Broncos, or at least as many games as the Broncos with Geno Smith. And by the time it's said and done, Geno's going to have a better completion percentage than Russ. I mean, he is. And probably a better interception to touchdown ratio. And while the Seahawks are are saving, uh, let's just let's just look, let me look real fast. Uh, Russell Russell Wilson's contract. They gave him fifty seven million. That's how much cash, yearly cash, $57 million by the time you, because they just gave him a $2 million base salary, but then they gave him $15 million in salary bonuses, uh, just signing and roster, plus guaranteed money. (laughs) What a train wreck. Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports 2 fans. I wanted to talk about last night's game. I wanted to talk about Geno. I wanted to talk about Russ. I got to tell you, I'm in an interesting position because as a 49ers fan, I need the Seahawks to to lose. I do. Um, But I'm kind of weirdly pulling for Pete Carroll right now and Geno, especially Geno. Man, I always liked Geno coming out of the draft. And I just, I was like, what happened? What happened? Does New York the New York Jets draft a quarterback and they just die? They just go there and die. Well, he's been resurrected with the Seahawks. I'm going to put this on pod. Make sure you subscribe to our podcast. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 
Make sure you use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word will get you 25% off. Go get them right now. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.